The Paradise Poker Tour descended on the Spanish capital, offering a more relaxing atmosphere for our aspiring champions in this, the penultimate stop of season two. Each leg of the Paradise Poker Tour is a no-limit Texas Hold'em event. In Madrid, 250 runners took part with a buy-in of 550 euros. Each player started with 15,000 in chips and the top 27 players were paid. So far in Season 2 we've had hugely successful events in Villamora, London, Vienna and Prague and we're delighted to bring the tour to Madrid. I've been to three Paradise Poker Tour events before and qualified for this one the first satellite I tried. Hurrah! Through daily online events, players qualified for as little as one euro and won a 1,100 euro package that included the buy-in for the tournament as well as spending money to cover both travel and accommodation. You get paid for everything. You even get a little uh, pocket money also, so it's, it's very cool. It's a good package to win. I've been to all of the Paradise Poker Tours. I thought it was a very good structure, so I'm a big fan. <laughs> That's why I keep coming back. Yeah, I think structure is good. We, we used to play tournaments here in Spain with a turbo structure and not, not many uh, like this one. And as the cards were dealt, all eyes were firmly on one of the nine seats at the final table. But like every poker game, there were victims, heroes and villains. Every player had their story. Some would last only a few hands, whilst others would go on into the night. After three days of intense battling, the final nine was decided after a massive hand saw Paradise Poker Tour regular Robert Haig and David Despejo go all in. Queens versus the Aces. The Spanish player had home advantage and the upper hand on his side. But even that was not enough, as the river brought another lady an eventual heartache for the young poker player. He exited stage right, and we had our final table. It wasn't long before you were left with just seven, as Gabriel Costas and David Rodriguez, perhaps feeling the pressure from the 10,000 to 20,000 blind levels, decided to gamble. It was not to be and both men were sent to the rails. Robert Haig was back in the headlines once again, but this time he could not continue his lucky spree and he bowed out after losing back-to-back -back hands. Seven place finish is a little bit disappointing. Did everything wrong, had no mistakes. So it doesn't feel too bad, it's okay. Marcos Montiero and Srini Thavaraja were to leave in sixth and fifth places respectively, meaning four Spanish players were left at the felt. But several hours were to pass before our next player was to fall as Miracle Rivers brought the game to a lengthy stalemate. After yet another double up from the short stack, the game was paused and the players went into a heavy discussion. It doesn't seem that we're going to be able to reach a, a winning conclusion. Um, so they're discussing a deal as we speak and it remains to be seen whether the players are going to go for that. It was decided that the prize pool was to be split according to their chip stacks, with 4,000 euros left to the eventual winner. And as play resumed, the table was quickly reduced to two after Raul Magdalano and Jose Lopez were dispatched by their fellow countrymen. The gruelling final table finally came to a head after Jose Solominos shoved his final chips in on a bluff after missing his straight. With only Queen-5 in his hand for a low pair, it was down to Pablo Baldor to make the hero call. He did and the tournament concluded with yet another Spanish name etched into the PPT history books. In a heads-up game, there is a very little chance to, to hit the flop, so I think my, my hand was good. Becoming the Paradise Poker champion here in Madrid is very nice because I'm a local player. Daily qualifiers for the next event in Barcelona are running right now. You can qualify from as little as one euro on paradisepoker.com. Every day online we qualify at least one player where they can win a guaranteed 1,100 euro prize package. And it was all changed at the top of the Paradise Poker Tour League table, as Ronnie Espenson, who held pole position for so long, was relegated to second spot behind Robert Haig after the German made his second final table appearance of the season. With 10,000 euros, an entry into all season three tour events going to the winner, and with three points separating the top two, anything can happen. So join us in Barcelona for the final leg of season two of the Paradise Poker Tour. See you then.